Hi, I'm Frankie. And in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to create a free Microsoft Azure account. To create our Azure account, let's start by typing in azure.com on the web browser. From here, we'll hit get started with Azure and then try Azure for free. This will take us to the signup window. As you fill out this information, take note over here of some of the things you get when you create your first free Azure account. You get access to a bunch of services for free for the next 12 months. You get more access to more than 55 other services that will always be free for you. And then you get access to a $200 credit that you can use within the first 30 days. And for reference on the same page where you click try Azure for free, we can come down and see all these different free services that we can start taking advantage of right away. I can even come here and click free services and see this big list of what I get. And it says for some of these where it'll only be available for 12 months for free, but many of them say that they'll always be free. All right, let's get back to creating our Azure account. Now I'll fill out some information. Now I already have an Azure account, so I'm creating this account for someone named Carl Rivera. I'm gonna put in my phone number. You might be asked to verify your phone number. I'll put in some information on my address. Promotions and offers, sure, and then I'll hit next. Now you need to put in your credit card. As you fill out the credit card information, you might see this pop-up occur. This is just Microsoft saying that a credit card is used to verify your identity. And also, once you do move to a pay-as-you-go account, when your $200 of free Azure credits are used up. I'll keep going down the line here, and I'll finish sign up. All right, now it looks like our Azure account is created, and we can get started by going to the Azure portal. This is the default screen for anybody who creates a new Azure account. You can start going through these different sections if you'd like, or you can jump right into creating a new resource with a resource group if you wanna go that route as well. If you wanna get back to the quick start, you can always go to the search bar up here, type in quick start center, or you'll find it here if you've already seen it, and then you can go through these quick start tutorials. With your Azure account set up, the possibilities of what you can do with it are endless. If this video was helpful for you, please like it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.